this resetting is very unique. So help us understand kind of like the well, connection there. Once the once a conventional antioxidant, once they uh, re react with an oxidative radical, that's it. Now, some like those green, you know, the colors and the green xylanthins, once they oxidize, that's it. They're oxidized, then they have to be got rid of, right? Okay. Other, other ones like vitamin C, it oxidizes, it can re reset, you know, certain things, certain things like vitamin C, CoQ10, vitamin D, vitamin E, these can be reset. SOD, they can be reset, but it takes energy and time okay. and enzymes where C60 doesn't need that. It just does, it does its oxidative antioxidant job and then resets itself again and again and again. So it's unique. And that's why it's so, I mean, there's nothing else like it. It, 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 no other antioxidant has any similarities whatsoever. And it has no toxicity at all because see, C60 only interacts with the two oxidative radicals, superoxide and the hydroxyl ion that the body does not use as signaling molecules. It doesn't interact with the nitrogen oxides. That's vasodilators. That's why if you take too much vitamin E or vitamin C, you can actually have negative effects mm -hmm. because they start interfering with the nitrogen oxides. That's what makes your capillaries dilate and contract. And if they're not doing that right, you can have serious health problems. Also hydrogen peroxide, that's, that's also used as a signaling molecule. And there's some others with lower energy levels, uh, antioxidative radicals that the body uses for signaling molecules. And a lot of antioxidants uh, will interfere with that. Like that's why they found that vitamin C and vitamin E will not increase athletic performance. Really? They've actually tested it. And it actually, above a certain level, it actually goes down. And so it, that's because it interferes with those signaling molecules. Where with C60, there's no such limitation. C60 doesn't interfere with any of the body's signaling molecules. So, and it actually is the only antioxidant that can increase athletic performance. And so that's just, that's its unique, that's its uniqueness. So that's a that's a great point. How how specifically does it help support athletic performance? How? Well, basically, when your when your mitochondria start cranking out, they need ATP, right? They yeah. start cranking out. They'll put out huge amounts of superoxide and hydroxyl ions, and they'll just overwhelm your body's uh, antioxidant capacity. That's why you get tired, because it starts messing with the Krebs cycle, the ATP production, and you get the lactic acid buildup. Mm -hmm. Lactic acid buildup is the sign that your your own cells' antioxidant production has been overwhelmed. And then you have to stop running because you can't, your cells can't function anymore. You just can't go on and then until that gets fixed and then you can start up again. And so when people take C60, that lactic acid buildup is slowed down dramatically. And a lot of other things aren't made. When you make a lot of superoxides and it floods out into your cells, it's getting out there because you can make 50 times more superoxide when you're exercising than when you're resting. Okay. And so like the superoxide will get out and it'll combine with the nitrogen oxide make peroxynitrate. And that's a low reactive antioxidant radical, but it can go a long ways to do its damage. That's what DOMS is. You know, you get that soreness you get. Delayed onset muscle soreness. Delayed onset muscle okay. soreness. That's what you get after a couple days is because those peroxynitrates have gone everywhere and caused damage. And there's the body doesn't have a really a lot of antioxidants to take care of that particular thing. But if you stop the superoxide before it makes that, combines with nitrogen oxide to make that, then you uh, then you get less damage to the body.